talking about? What's up, True Feelings family? How you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. And if you do, welcome to okay, the family. Okay, y'all, I don't know who make my jaws tight the most. If it's DeAndre <laughs> or Matt. But we're going to start with Matt Punk Ass. Again, Matt, Kenzie, and Chelsea. The ex-girlfriend, she out of line. Matt, totally out of line. So this last episode I watched starts with them talking about the the ex going to get her damn car. I'm going to say the ex because I, I be getting their names mixed up, child. So the ex need to go get her car. And the boyfriend's supposed to, the, the Matt's supposed to take her to get this car. Kenzie has to go along with it. Now, first of all, I don't know why Matt need to take her to get her car. Like, does the ex, she ain't got no friends. She ain't got no girlfriends. Like, but you ain't got no money. Like, you can't call her Uber. Why does Matt have to take you to go pick up your damn car? Like, why? He always helps her. Here they are splitting their bills. They're going over their bills, Matt and the actual girlfriend. Now, I'm sitting there thinking as they're going over their bills, I hope this heifer you got in your house is helping you pay something. She need to give you a little bit on your rent. She need to give you something for the gas and electric. She need to give you something for some food. Like, she need to be kicking in. She in the house. So, she need to fucking be paying something. So, anyway, back to them going him, Matt, going to take this girl to get her car. So now they get in the car, him and Matt and the ex-girlfriend. Okay, they done left old Kenzie. Is it Kenzie her name? Left Kenzie's little punk ass at home. So she just at home, just sitting there. Okay. So he, Matt, brings up, hey, let's go like have a little, little drink at their old little stomping grounds that they used to hang out in when they was going together, right? So out of line, so inappropriate. Homegirl gonna say he gonna do what he wanna do. That's why she just went for it and did anyway. So she, you know, even if she didn't wanna do it, he was gonna do it. She just, she just full of shit, right? So they get into this little low bar and they talk, you know, they looking for the bar person that they used to be with. Now they talking about why they broke up. Just a whole bunch of inappropriate shit, you know. And the thing about the ex girlfriend, why I say she full of shit? She gonna sit there and say she know what a shitty person he was. That's why they broke up because he liked to play too much. He liked to party. He liked to do what he want to do. And she didn't trust his ass. And that's why they broke up. But she was very, she could remember, she could remember the very date, girl. Did you guys catch that? She was able, she was able to remember the very date him and the new girl, I think her name was Chelsea. I think I'm getting them mixed up. Him and the new girlfriend got together. It definitely brought back old times. She said a whole date, which makes me think, bitch, you in your damn feelings. If you can remember, look, with everything she doing, she doing on purpose. So she gonna have the nerve to sit there at that bar and say she know how he act. So basically saying his girlfriend should, should be happy they hanging out as buddies now so she can watch his ass and make sure he in line. I said, girl, if you don't miss me with all that shit, I want to just kick her in her damn throat. You need our best friend that lives with us? Shut up, because you shouldn't even be there. You know the girlfriend don't want you there. So why are you there being an irritant? That's what you're doing. You're just being a fucking irritant. You know she don't want you there. I want to be blamed. So this is when I really got annoyed. So they get back to the house. Girlfriend sitting on the couch. She's pissed. Where you motherfuckers been? Y'all been at a bar. Y'all been hanging out together. I'm sitting here trying to figure out where you guys at. He's getting pissed off because she keeps calling this girl the ex-girlfriend. Don't call her my ex-girlfriend. Not the best friend. That's Matt, you son of a bitch. That is your ex-girlfriend. She can't see her as a best friend because that is your ex-girlfriend. You can call it what you want, but that's your ex-girlfriend. Now, what had my jaws tight as shit, y'all, was the fact that here she is having a conversation, a semi-argument with her man. This bitch ain't got enough fucking sense to get the hell up and go away. Sitting in the kitchen making faces and shit like i wanted to throw a plate at her it's like you see these two people are having a disagreement about your punk ass why are you still there listening you should have went up to your room she didn't leave and had the nerve to interject i said okay i would have threw something at her i do not like this ex-girlfriend because she's full of shit and as long as he's gonna disrespect her she will too 
I wouldn't have been the one walking away. Me and this girl, I don't mean to sound like a violent person, but I can be when I'm being disrespected and just straight in my face. You guys that have been listening to my story, I don't play that shit no more. So me and her would have had some damn issues, okay? But I would have left. I wouldn't even be there. Like I said, when she moved in, my punk ass would have been moving out that damn So then he go into the bedroom and shit and tell her not to cry and shit. Wait, let me, I forgot something. So when they at this bar, he tell her ass, the ex, that he's going, thinking about marrying his actual girlfriend. And the ex says, mm, no, don't think you should do that. And I'll get married for a very long time. Like she's the last person. Like, of course, she's going to tell you, no, she still wants your ass. Okay. She still wants your ass or she wouldn't be there because she act like she ain't got no damn friends. So she was out of line for that. Going to say his ass ain't ready not that she ain't right because he definitely ain't ready but it was not for her to say shit about it was definitely not for him to bring to his ex i'm gonna keep calling her your ex-girlfriend matt bitch because that's what she is your ex-girlfriend we don't see best friend over here we seeing an ex moving in with your girlfriend that she don't like apparently she's too passive you need to leave girl there's no way. I, I wouldn't even want a ring from this man. I wouldn't want a ring from the man. The disrespect that he's showing you now. You think once he get married to you, he gonna respect you, boo-boo. Man, I hope you've seen this. You are the epitome of an asshole. But I'm done with y'all right now. Let's go to the other big asshole. And that's DeAndre. DeAndre, I think you get the award for the asshole in front of Matt. So they at his little jewelry party. Jewelry that we've seen before. Nothing special about the jewelry. I don't know where he got it from or if you make it up. He looks familiar. I feel like I've seen his brother on a whole nother reality show. Now his girlfriend, Elodie, she came with her homegirl. And I'm glad she didn't show up there by herself. Okay. Um, and they're having a little good time until the mother and the ex run and bring their punk asses in there. Doing their own thing. Now, what I didn't like, and the same thing that LOD didn't like, every time he introduced his ex girlfriend, he couldn't just say, This is my friend Rowan. This is my ex girlfriend. He had to say every time, This is my ex girlfriend. This is my ex girlfriend. And then you got his shady ass mama. I can't stand his mama. I don't like his mama so here she is isn't his ex-girlfriend beautiful like come on lady come on stop it Ashley Elodie you 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 bought one of the dumbest ones on here in my opinion so now Elodie is like shit she get bad because it, but, but here let's let's back up so then you got Rowan and her little confessional talking to the producers Saying, well, I hope she's not upset because he's kind of doing the same thing with Elodie that he was doing with her. Like when they go out to parties or whatever, he would just leave her all alone and just run around and do shit. Yeah, where is she? Uh -huh. Well, he's kind of doing the same thing, but Rowan, bitch, he's doing it with you. He's the one around taking pictures, introducing you as his ex. So if you think it's so disrespectful, why, like, why are you there? You know his woman don't want you there. And you invited this man on the damn trip, which is disrespectful and trifling, too. So Elodie said, shit, fuck yeah, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something to her about this little trip. It's time for us to have a little discussion. All right, here we go. So she called her over about the way. And did anybody catch the shitty looks mama was giving? This is it. While they was over there talking, she wanted to take her little blue haired ass over there so bad and say something because she knew LD was telling us something. Like she knew and she just wanted to take her little blue. I'm so glad she didn't walk her little blue haired ass over there. I don't like the mama. So LD straight up, you know, I don't like. Elodie, you too soft on this broad. 
I would have came at her real different. Like, dude, what is up with you inviting my man on the trip? You know he with a woman. You don't think that shit is disrespectful? I think that's kind of weird. I'm not going to ask her if I can come. He ain't going or I'm going. In fact, you should have invited both of us. Not him since he got his own room. Like that don't look some kind of way. That would have been our conversation. So I don't like the way that she had that little soft ass timid conversation with her i would have been ready to piss her off she would have walked away from that time girl i'm not shocked come on now come on so uh rowan she expected her to say something i just <sighs> ellie do you need to get your ass up out of that relationship like i said that is a little ass boy he is not a grown ass man he is a little ass boy you have a daughter why you can get you somebody a whole lot better and bigger you can do better you can do better i don't understand like is his shit that damn golden and so good that you gotta keep it just to be disrespected girl you need to get get some self-respect because i feel like you ain't got none because ain't no way in hell me and this girl i don't know they probably would have had to call the police you can't invite my man on a damn trip and you know i'm wet up you can't. That shit has me so twisted, y'all. I don't have a place. Now, do you guys remember these three? Now, they done told the ex that she's pregnant. The last episode or a couple of last episodes, the ex was kind of like, you know, feeling some kind of way he didn't expect it. And here he is trying to plan a bachelor party for uh the boyfriend for i can't remember the name y'all i'm sorry i'm just kind of that for the black guy okay now in my mind i'm thinking you know this girl don't want you before i even go there is it just me i don't see him and her having sex they don't look like they've ever had sex i don't know where this damn baby popped up from in her stomach but i just feel like it wasn't them having sex i just don't see it now i ain't trying to be shading them because if you guys remember from the first uh season his family said it like it was just so out of the blue that all of a sudden he's now not with a man and with this woman even they were taken aback like it did it was they were so taken aback they wanted him to be gay they didn't want him to be a woman it was funny as shit to me i'm like damn normally the family be on the opposite side but it was like no we want your ass to be gay You're supposed to be gay don't look right being with this woman and i'm like i don't think he having sex with her but anyway you got the friend wanting to give him a bachelor party he done found out now that they're pregnant and i'm sitting there thinking and the girl's pissed off because she don't want strippers and all this okay and i'm sitting there thinking well the friend the ex-boyfriend if you want to be a part of their relationship i would have offered to throw them a baby shower together instead of a bachelor party. They're already married, you know, and she's already feeling some kind of way that he has to talk to his ex. This dude talked to his ex every day, every day. In the first episode, it was every day, three times a day. It, it was just like too much. It's like, why don't you just go back to the motherfucker? Because I wouldn't deal with it. But like I said, I don't see them having sex. Uh, it's... <sighs> so old girl now is just pissed off because they're sitting there discussing how and what they're going to tell this baby about their relationship and i'm thinking why the fuck do you got to tell the baby anything why the baby got to know about you guys was in a relationship you just can't tell this kid this was your friend he don't know because that would make my life so much easier but so I'm like, why is that even a discussion on what to tell you gonna tell him like you tell that's your friend but all the exes are disrespectful. They're all disrespectful and they're disrespectful on purpose. The other people, y'all, I don't even care about the people that's moving in with the babies, the kids, and everybody. I just don't care until they start a damn fight. I think there's somebody else, but I, I, I'm not thinking about it right now. But those were the three that was on my radar that I wanted to do. Tell me, guys, what you guys think about all these fools y'all they all disrespectful all of them all the exes 
or disrespectful sons and bitches. They really are. They need to be have their asses. Hand it to them, people. Hand it to them. Anyway, that's it. That's all. I'm out. Don't be an asshole. Bye.